Oh, the irony. After months of Eric Ten Hag's mysterious strategies and questionable decisions, Manchester United has decided that a change is necessary. It's like that friend who insists on ordering kale at a burger joint and then wonders why nobody's talking to him. So what's next? A vibrant young coach who might actually know what defense means? Rumor has it, Amram might just do it if he can withstand the pressure of a thousand Twitter critiques. Now picture this. You're Ruben Amorim, sitting in your office, sipping coffee, checking your WhatsApp, when suddenly, Manchester United swings by with a huge bag of money and a shiny contract. The catch? You have to explain why you need a squad that's downright allergic to a league title. It's like being handed the keys to a Ferrari and then realizing it's stuck in reverse. Good luck, my friend, because this ride is going to get bumpy. And can we talk about the release clause? It sounds like one of those pop quiz nightmares, doesn't it? Congratulations on your new job, Ruben. Now, how do you plan to unlock this particular door? Hint, it costs a lot of dough. Let's be real. If trigger-happy United fans had all the money they wanted, they'd buy the entire league just to ensure their team always wins. The bitter irony here is thick enough to cut with a knife. Imagine being in Amaram's shoes, taking a desk job at a club leaping through coaching changes like a caffeine-fueled kangaroo. Poor guy, one minute, he's managing a club with a solid plan, and the next he's carting around a club that's basically the Bermuda Triangle of football. For every good decision, there are 10 bad ones lurking behind it, waiting to strike. Who needs enemies when your team performs like an overcooked spaghetti? Oh, and let's not forget the players. These war-hardened gladiators are probably staring wide-eyed at their new potential coach like children on Christmas morning, filled with nervous anticipation. Someone better keep the defibrillator handy. What if Amorim decides to utilize that tricky, playing out from the back strategy? I can already hear the sighs echoing through Old Trafford as the ball gets passed between defenders like a game of hot potato. And can we just discuss social media? The pressure is real. The memes will come flooding in faster than you can say bad publicity. It's like stepping into a gladiator arena where the Lions just happen to be fans with a Twitter account. I mean, imagine Amorim's first post-match conference. So how do you feel about the beautiful game, Ruben? He'll need a strong drink and a therapist just to get through the questions. So here's the million dollar question. Will Ruben Amorim walk into Manchester United's chaos with his cape on, ready to save the day? Or will he find himself holding the world's hottest potato? Because folks, if there's one thing we know for sure, it's that Manchester United could turn even the simplest tasks into a full-blown circus. Will Amorim be up for the challenge? Or should he just stick to coaching in a league where the biggest drama is watching paint dry? What do you think? Like and subscribe, please.